Right, thank you, Caroline. A custody battle is underway in St. George involving polygamist leader Warren Jeffs. An exiled member of Jeffs Church wants custody of his children, and he's called the FLDS leader himself to the witness stand. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has more from the Fox 13 Southern Utah Bureau. As a father, love my family and my focus is to protect my family. Lauren Holm wants permanent custody of his children and he's suing fundamentalist LDS church leader Warren Jeffs for them. He's a man that's been drunk with power. Holm is in the middle of a custody fight with his ex-wives. He claims the children are in danger because of the dictates of FLDS leaders. They're in great danger if the parents place the safety of their children second to their religious beliefs as is so well established by all of the young men who've been kicked out and all of the young women who've been married underage. In the trial, one of Holmes' ex-wives was questioned about her beliefs. If there is a conflict between the laws of God given by Warren Jeffs and the laws of the land, which would you follow? Holmes' lawyer asked. Linda Piney testified, the laws of God. As a woman cried on the witness stand recalling how Warren Jeffs molested her as a girl, Piney put her fingers in her ears, refusing to hear it. It's a difficult situation because of the firm beliefs that this pedophile who's admitted he's a fraud, who rapes little girls, uh, is, is still their leader. From his Texas prison cell, Warren Jeffs gave videotaped testimony in this case. He didn't say much, and the judge is deciding if he'll even allow it in at trial. We called him as a witness because he's the kingpin in this criminal organization. This is the second deposition Jeffs has given recently since he was convicted in Texas of child sex assault for taking girls as his wives. Former child bride Elisa Wall had him deposed as part of her multi-million dollar lawsuit against him. Brian, can you talk to me? I don't want to. The lawyer for Holmes' ex-wife told the court they're stereotyping the entire FLDS faith and putting the religion on trial. Holmes' case could set precedent for other FLDS men who've been kicked out by Jeffs, losing their families. And there's thousands of families, thousands of children that this will affect, and I want every father and every mother to have their children. In St. George, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.